the crown of the continent, Glacier National Park, a paradise created by God, a land of adventure, wilderness, and awe-inspiring beauty. A sense of excitement arrives from the moment your eyes first witness the snow-top peaks that rise up from the barren plains of Montana. Something here is different. Melting glaciers, pristine alpine meadows, carved valleys, historic lodges, and spectacular mountain lakes. The chattering of tourists somehow silenced by the almost overwhelming beauty that surrounds us. Sometimes referred to as America's Switzerland, Benny Glacier sits just north of the Going to the Sun Road on the park's east side. The Benny Glacier area is a highly visited destination within the park and contains some of the most popular hiking trails, as well as the iconic Benny Glacier Hotel built in 1915. The porches of Benny Glacier Hotel offer panoramic views of Swift Current Lake and the mountains that surround it. The Swift Current Lake Nature Trail is an easy hike and is a great way to explore the scenery along the lake shore. For Jenny, Jagger, and myself, this would be our second visit to Glacier. This time, Jenny's dad, Denny, who had never been to the western U.S., was along for the adventure. Going to the Sun Road, something I have been looking forward to for years. Our timing in 2018 was just off as the snow kept the road closed to traffic until late June. This time the road was open and we secured our reservation online on our drive to Montana. Take in the gorgeous views of St. Mary Lake from a short trail at the pull-off. This 10 mile long lake is just the start of the indescribable beauty that we are about to take in along the Sun Road. Just up the road, magnificent peaks rise 4,000 feet above the water's edge and create the beauty of Wild Goose Island.
Logan Pass sits at the highest elevation of the Going to the Sun Road. Here, hikers will begin two of the most popular hikes in the park, on the Hidden Lake and Highline Trails. Along with hiking, wildflower and wildlife viewing are exceptional here. The Logan Pass Visitor Center also offers ranger-led activities and restrooms. The parking lot here is generally full between 8.30 a.m. and 4 p.m., so arrive early to avoid the crowds. The Trail of the Cedars, located next to Avalanche Creek Picnic Area, is another great little hike along the Going to the Sun Road. A raised boardwalk leads you through an old growth forest with red cedar trees up to 100 feet tall and up to 500 years old. The trail is wheelchair accessible and allows for a view of the Avalanche Gorge. This area is also a great spot to relax and have a picnic style lunch.
Lake McDonald Lodge, built in 1913, has 82 guest rooms and features picturesque views of spectacular Lake McDonald. Near the end of the Going to the Sun Road is Apgar Village. Here the fjord-shaped Lake McDonald glimmers in the sun and shows off in an awesome fashion. This is another of the most visited places in the park. At 472 feet, Lake McDonald has the deepest waters in Glacier National Park. Surrounded by mountains on three sides and filled with rainbow-colored rocks, this crystal clear lake is an awesome sight to see. Our final adventure in the park would be kayaking on Lake McDonald. This was an awesome experience and a surprise for Dad. Our dad and grandpa has shown us that you are never too old to experience life to the fullest. It is a gift for all of us, and not one to be wasted. We have been beyond blessed by God to see and experience some incredible things in our travels. But for me, something here in the mountains of Montana seems just a little more special than the rest.